Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video on the Orn 24-inch monitor from Walmart. Unboxing, setup, and review. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. To begin with, let's unbox this as quickly as we can, and then we'll go ahead and do a setup and a review on this. Okay, looking at the front of the monitor here, you can see that this is an anti-glare screen and it works really well considering I have some really bright lights behind me and I'm hardly getting any reflection at all. And then if we go ahead and flip this over and take a look at the rear of the monitor here, we have four VESA mounts or screw mounts rather and we also have a VGA port, an HDMI port, 1.4 version I believe, and then we have a power plug port here, and then we have the stand or part of the stand right here as well. And speaking about the stand, let's go ahead and assemble it fully here, and it requires three pieces, and if you count the two screws that need to be screwed in on the bottom, uh, that would be five pieces, and you will need a Phillips screwdriver to accomplish this task and that's not included but the screws are okay once you have it completely assembled we can go ahead and set it up right here let's go ahead and remove the sticker off the front of the monitor here it shows directions how to access the monitor menu and we'll get to that in a few moments and we can grab this HDMI cable it's the three footer that was included with the monitor and also the power cord as well was included. So two items came with the monitor here for our convenience in setting this up and connecting it to our laptop computer. Back to the display here and I've powered it on. Now keep in mind I've already plugged in the um, HDMI cable and plugged in the power cord in the rear. Didn't think I needed to show you all how to go about doing that because it's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and focus on the monitor's display here. As you can see, the colors are crisp. The text is crisp and clear and very bright. I like the um, idea of being able to see um, definite contrasts that works really well, especially in video editing. Now you can see here the maximum resolution is 1920 by 1080 p now let me take a moment to remind you that this is a 14 millisecond response time monitor. This is great for office work and working from home and surfing the net and checking your email, but not recommended for gaming at all. Now here's the sticker that was attached to the front of the monitor that I removed. It shows how to access the monitor menu and the buttons are directly underneath in the center of the monitor you can't visually see them you have to kind of feel for them with your fingers and the best part here is that the menu is extremely user friendly and the selection goes across the screen on the bottom from left to right and it's very large um, icons that um, are easy to see and every selection that you want to or every item that you want to access is just right there in front and easy to uh, go ahead and select now also um, i wanted to point out that this has several modes of operation that are built in standard movie and also fps if you decided to do gaming but this is not a gaming monitor which shows you your frames per second and then also rts and then we have a eye saver which uh, reduces the amount of strain on your eyes when, while you're you know looking at the monitor at night so let's go ahead and take a look at the monitor from different views here here's a left angle here's a right angle here's a top angle and here's looking at the monitor from the bottom up and as you can see the colors are still very crisp the text is very easy to see still at these angles 
and I believe the maximum viewing angle is 178. Do I like this monitor? Yes. Is this a good monitor? Yes. Is this a great monitor? No. Would I recommend this monitor to be used at the office and at home? Yes. I give this monitor a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like. And remember to share.